Okay, so again, if you can try these, pause it here and try them, great. Especially 3A, that seems very doable. 3B is a little tougher, but you can still do it. You're super smart. But I'm going to start going over them now. Uh, we got to get it equal to zero. So we'll subtract two here from both sides. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals zero. Remember, the inequality doesn't really matter right now. So if we were to factor that, it'd be x minus 4, x minus 2, which gives us x equals positive 4 and x equals positive 2. These are kind of our critical points here that we have to consider. So let's say this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it did say greater than or equal to, so that gets the solid dots. It includes these values. So at 2 and at 4. So now we got to pick some test points. Let's try 0, because 0 is always one of the easier ones. So 0 squared minus 6 times 0 plus 10 greater than or equal to 2. All this stuff, 0 squared, 6 times 0 is just 0. 10 is greater than or equal to 2. That's true. So it's going to include the chunk with 0 in it. Now. You can assume most times it's either going to be shaded towards the outside or shaded in the middle. So if I already know it's shaded to the left side, it's probably going to be shaded to the right side as well. But let's test out some other numbers. Between 2 and 4, that middle chunk, let's try 3. Three squared is 9. 6 times 3 is 18. Uh, 9 minus 18 is negative... 9 plus 10 is positive 1, and 1 is not greater than or equal to 2, so it's not going to include those. All right, our other chunk to the right, to the right of 4, we can use 5. You could use 20 if you want. 5 squared is 25. It's negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. 25 minus 30 is negative 5 plus 10 is 5, which is greater than or equal to 2. So it would also include those values. So for our answer, it is x is less than or equal to 2, or x could be greater than or equal to 4. If you were to write that in interval notation, that would be negative infinity to 2 with a bracket, and we got our u, and then it starts again at 4 and goes towards positive infinity. All right, let's try this next one. Let's go with blue. We got to get it equal to 0. Minus 2 minus 2. Negative 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 equals 0. Again, we're ignoring the inequality right now. You always have to factor out negative if the first term is negative. Uh, then minus 3x minus 5. First term, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. So they have to be 3 apart. So it would be like x minus 5 and x plus 2. But don't forget, you have to try to divide them by that number in front. 2. So if this was properly factored... It would look like this. The 2 would come to the front, 2x minus 5. 2 over 2 is 1. So your two critical numbers you're looking for here, you can look right here. See how it says x minus 5 over 2? So x could equal positive 5 over 2, which is 2.5. So that's going to be a number we're going to have to look at. And x plus 1, that means x could equal negative 1. I see I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to start the next one, actually. Okay. 